डॉक्टर महेश कल्याण शेट्टी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग पालचंद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे विल सी अबाउट द परमेबिलिटी ऑफ सॉइल इंट्रोडक्शन द लर्निंग आउटकम विल बी एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब द परमेबिलिटी ऑफ सॉइल In geotechnical engineering one must know how much water is flowing through a soil in a unit time and this knowledge is required to design many structures such as earth lamp which is required to determine quantity of seepage under any hydraulic structures and some kind sometime we need dewatering before and during the construction of the foundations so these are the certain situations wherein we should know the amount of water which is flowing through a soil mass and therefore we need to study permeability of the soil so permeability is defined as a capacity of the soil to allow water to pass through the interconnecting voids present in the soil mass so this quantity of water flowing for a unit of soil surface under a pressure of 1 unit hydraulic gradient that is called as permeability of the soil the permeability is needed in many situations the following applications will illustrate the importance of permeability in the geotechnical design the permeability basically we need for determination of rate of settlement of a saturated soil under the load we also need this knowledge for the design of earth dam wherein a lot of knowledge of the permeability of the soil is useful then the stability of slopes and retaining structures because these particular permeability may affect greatly on the stability of slopes and retaining structures and the filters which are made up of soil designed based on the seepage quantity soils are permeable due to the ex existence of interconnected voids through which water flows from points of high energy to point of low energy so this is a typical situation wherein the flow of water can take place so as we are aware that the flow takes place from the higher energy to lower energy therefore the blue portion here shows a pervious soil through which the water is flowing and downstream side at certain location this particular water will be collected if you get a free surface so this flow of water through the soil media is needed to ensure the stability of the structure these are certain typical values of the soil permeability as we can see here right from gravel up to clay we have variety of the soil present and the range of the coefficient of permeability is given and obviously we can see here the maximum permeability is there in case of the clean gravel and the in case of clay where the permeability is very very less it is as good as a impermeable soil where the coefficient of permeability is in 1 into 10 is to 6 cm per second and even smaller there are many factors which affects the permeability of the soil and these particular factors are enlisted here so the the points we can see here the particle size voids ratio properties of pore fluid also will affect on the permeability shape of the particles plays a role structure of soil mass degree of saturation then the absorbed water present in the soil mass entrapped air and also the organic impurities present in the soil mass will plays a role temperature and stratification of soil now these particular factors we will just uh, uh, take into detail and uh, we'll see how these particular factors will affect the permeability the particle size first one as we know that the 
permeability varies approximately as the square of the grain size and it depends on the effective diameter of the grain size. So, higher the grain size, more is the permeability of the soil. It also depends upon the wides ratio. Obviously, increase in the wides ratio increases the area available for the flow. Hence, the permeability increases. The properties of the pore fluid also plays the role because pore fluids are fluids which occupy the spaces in a soil and the permeability is directly proportional to the unit weight of this pore fluid and inversely proportional to the viscosity. So, more is the viscosity of the pore fluid naturally the flow will be smaller or permeability will be lesser. Then the shape of the particles also plays the role. The permeability is inversely proportional to the specific surface that is an angular soil have more specific area compared to the round soil and therefore, the soil with angular particles is less permeable than soil of rounded particles. So, it is quite obvious that the, the angular soil since it has got more specific surface okay, and, and as compared to round soil therefore, permeability of this angular particles will be obviously lesser than that of rounded particles. Then this, the structure of the soil mass also plays the role. For same wide ratio, the permeability is more for flocculent structure as compared to the dispersed structure. So, in the image, we can see the flocculated and a dispersed structure. And in the dispersed structure, the widest ratio will be smaller and in the flocculent structure the wides ratio will be more. So, therefore, since in a flocculated structure the wides ratio is more the permeability is also observed to be more as compared to dispersed structure. The degree of saturation also plays the role. The permeability of partially <coughs> saturated soil is less than that of fully saturated soil. It is quite obvious. Now, in the image you can see left hand side we have a partially saturated soil and the right hand side we have a fully saturated soil. So, in a fully saturated soil since all the whites are already filled with water, the permeability will be more as compared to the partially saturated soil. Then the adsorbed water also plays the role. So, adsorbed water means a thin microscopic film of water surrounding individual soil grains. So, this water is not free to move and hence reduction or hence reduces the effective pore space and thus decreases coefficient of permeability. So, these are certain factors which affects on the permeability. There are few more properties such as entrapped air and organic impurities. So, the organic impurities and entrapped air obstruct the flow and coefficient of permeability is obviously reduced because of their presence. So, more is the entrapped air or more is the content of organic impurities, the coefficient of permeability or permeability of the soil as such will be reduced. Then the temperature also plays the role. As the viscosity of the pore fluid decreases with temperature, permeability increases with temperature because we know that the uh, permeability is inversely proportional to viscosity. So, if the viscosity is reduced, naturally perme permeability is increased and viscosity will reduce in case of rise in the temperature. Stratification of the soil also plays the role. The stratified soils are those soils which are formed by layer upon layer of the earth or dust deposited on the earth on each other. If the flow is parallel to the layer of the stratification, the permeability is maximum while the flow in perpendicular direction will always lead to lesser permeability. 
So, these are the references used for this particular presentation. Thank you.